my prayer and hope that this video is going to find you when you're in good health and in good condition. I'm also doing fine at this peripheral end. So let me know where you're watching this video from. In your country, where you are doing errands and the other condition. Guys, I want to talk about a particular issue. The issue itself, uh, it's a foregone issue. But it turned again to be unfinished business because the other side wasn't hard. As always, you know, the cons has always two sides. But the one side of the con was already being exhausted, elaborated. Now the issue dissipated. But the other side of the con also need to tango. Then the breaking of the silence ensued into this YouTube platform. What am I talking about? I'm talking about Mr. Cecil, the trench town boy, who went to Nyabo Anze and there was a, a debacle and a clash and the lazy gang took the advantage of inciting the villagers against trench town boy. Things that really end up in so dramatic way, but quite unfortunate event. It really portrayed Nyabo Hanze, Muso, part of Kenya, as really ungrateful people. No, the image itself that are now Kenyans are known of outside there, they will tell you Nyabo Hanze. Now, people outside there, they don't want to know whether you're from Nyabazo or you're not. It's the Kenyans. Because the majority of people have got friends. I've got friends in the US, in Europe, in all walks of life. Others watch me on video, on this YouTube. Sometimes, when we call each other, just to know how things are going by, or how to know what really the world is saying, or the wind, how the wind is moving from North Atlantic to West, from east and west to central of Timbuktu. Sometimes we tell a lot of story, and sometimes they even ask you, are you really from Kenya? I tell them, I'm a Kenyan. Why are you asking? How does it look one? How does a Kenyan look like? They will give you a typical example, the ungrateful people within Yabohanze. Therefore, you start asking yourself, you mean it has reached that point? Well. This is just not to anchor Kenya, but this is just Kenyans, but this is just to let you know. Sometimes a behavior of some few individuals can give people a perception of what a country is. However much, it's just few individuals that are spoiling the broth. But now, people will suffer the fate. It's the same thing that you see outside here. For example, we have our brothers from West Africa. Very good people, or respectable people in this face of the earth and hardworking guys. But some of the times you've seen some few individuals, left and right, now has come to spoil the good names of our brothers. But you know, majority of people have skyrocketed that issue to be now, everybody, you know. I have good Nigerians who are my good friends, others we work with, good people and straightforward people. But you find the few individuals that will really spoil the broth, vis-a-vis -vis the Nyabuhanze situation itself. It's a debacle that sometimes I feel so bad. It took me time to even apologize to Mr. Sassil and let her know that is not the representations of Kenyans. I was touched and I was very livid to the brim and to the core. And in fact, what really happened to Nyamuhanze could never happen to my backward, backyard in Kisumu County. They know, ask every Kenyan, they will tell you, a no-nonsense county. We always don't play all this kind of shenanigan. In fact, for those who want to come to the village to curtail the social uplift of the people, the social economy of the people, Such kind of people and such kind of issues, we bring them to finality. Which means such kind of people do not belong to the society. They belong behind, to the, behind the bus, to the jail. Let the social justice take its course on you. Perhaps if you want to get to know what really happened, what breaking the silence mean, 
then I recommend this video and stay tuned over here because there is more than meets the high. There is more that was broken and was unraveled onto this surface going forward. If you're coming across this video for the very first time on this channel, kindly subscribe. Click on the notification bell so that whenever I upload a video, YouTube shall notify you for Twitter. To my lost subscriber, may God bless you abundantly. So let's dive in after the break. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to my YouTube chat. My name is Sina Zak and this is my YouTube channel. So guys, breaking in the silence, the Trenton boy, also known as Mr. Cecil, came in and to flip the other side of the coin. Because the Bandora box itself was opened, therefore there were several coins then he decided now to flip the same coin on the other side and to give us the other side of his story. Because all the eyes, ears, and mouth glued on the screen to hear the, all the shenanigans of Parsi and his Gintu. And even to the end, and now it's ending, and we are being given another perspective that all those kind of things were lies. So I had a majority of people asking, why Mr. Cecil is coming now, why not then? I will tell you this, Mr. Cecil could have come any time. There is no any right time or wrong time. Any time, even century we are, Mr. Cecil could still come and give us the side of the story. But what really prompted coming in is because the revelations of the three studies and the three amigos who have really broken within the point and have already admitted that most of the things they said about Mr. Cecil and Tejby Town were lies. And Mr. Cecil really have come at the right time to let people know. Because Mr. Cecil is saying, he's really traced the issue of obscene photos that people are saying that he sent to Percy. Percy was asked that kind of question. And what is the answer? There was, no, there was nothing like that. Which means all this were lies. It's the reasons why you are seeing Gintu moving left and right, helter skelter, not eastern with the other kind of words that are not making sense, what you hear is fantastic. Only the rest is flat. Others solidized. <laughs> to mean it's all of them. Solidized. You know, other people mindset are not making sense. And these are the people that the lazy gang are following. These are the people who are being funded by the lazy gang. And they are so happy that they are having somebody in the village giving them the information. I question their level of intelligence. I question their level of education. And it's a worrisome that the whole bunch and the whole horde, gods of the lazy gang, couldn't fathom and decipher a simple kind of information, same thing that to call Parsi and ask Parsi they would still want to create their own narrative that suits their audience. And I normally call their audience so gullible. Nimkompu. Going forward. And this is the reason why the TTB, the Trench Town Boy, aka Mr. Cecil, have come to address the issue. Mr. Cecil have addressed allegations that there were no photos obscene certain sort of kind of things. Percy knew what he was saying. At the later time, he's refuting it and blaming, portioning the blame to Mogesi, Ernesto, and Gintu. Number three things about the issue where Percy was claiming he was being given a condition. Mr. Cecil was dealing with the teacher and the principal of the school direct. He wasn't de dealing with Percy. All the school fees were being channeled to the school. So the issue is even when Mr. Cecil came to Kenya, he came to Kenya because he was invited by the principal to go and have a talk with them in the school, not because of Percy. And he didn't see it so fit because that is where they are taking Mr. Cecil and with the friends are sponsoring a number of kids in that school, so they ought to like go there, give a speech, talk to people, interact with the, with the teachers, so that you get to know what's really going on. But the reprobates, the monitoring spirits, 
with a certain kind of archaic vexations invoked the evils at play that really came and dismantled all the philanthropic programs that all that school and the less unfortunate within the society ought to have gotten. And how worrisome is, up to till now, and in the face of Pasi come out and said all those things were lies, the lazy gang still has to blame <laughs> Trade Boy Town. And also the issue, we are going to let you know. But there is a segment that really caught my eyes. Because somebody asked, asked Mr. Sassi live, would you consider to continue helping Nyabuhanze or go back to Nyabuhanze? What was the answer? Not really. It all depends. He explained the reasons why, plus many other. Perhaps let's hear from him, then I will come and put everything into perspective going forward. Two sources and, I, and tell them about, and they call me and tell me what they see people are saying about me and stuff like that. And they know me. I'm talking about persons of renown. I don't, I, I mean, I associate myself with upwardly mobile people. And, you know, that's why I'm able to get anything I ask for. If I ask them right now, if I just to tell my sources that I need $50,000 to build a building in there, I can bet my life. I could put it up and guarantee that I could get that money. Believe me, I, it might not be one month, two months, three months, four months, but I guarantee within a year I could get that $50,000. As a matter of fact, I would be surprised if I get a thousand from 50 people. Yes. But I want to make one thing sure, one thing certain, Mawa and his family are my family. You cannot pay me enough, or trick me enough, or shenanigans me enough, or obia me enough, or what's the word they use in Ghana? Juju me enough or do anything enough to get that bond break broken. Don't even try it. You're barking at the moon, so it's best you just forget that thought. All right? My dream of Neba Hansi would be was to make Neba Hansi be the best village. The dream that everybody in Kenya wants to run to. And just a few people in my country, if we had people like those who are trying to stop this social upliftment in the neighborhood, I guarantee we'd have a meet with the medical examiner in a very poor position. No, in a horizontal position. I don't want to sound too threatening. I don't, know, I, don't know, I don't want to sound too violent. I just want to tell you like it is. So from now on, every Saturday, I'm going to try to do a live. And I'm going to try to uh, Q, uh, Q&A. I'll find out which is, which is better. I don't understand. And tomorrow, I'll be on somebody who became a friend of mine, this channel. And the guest speaker on his, his, on his channel, and his name is I am Rupert. I am underscore Rupert. So I'll say it again. I am underscore Rupert. If you're not in his chat or you don't subscribe to him, please go ahead and subscribe to him. A very good, dedicated guy. I, I, so that I, is I, yeah, Mr. Sassel is talking. After being asked, do you consider continuing the same work in Yabo Anze? He said not really, but it depends because he's having friends who are phenomenal. I know that one is a technical English for JT and for other people. The phenomenal means men with effects, men with 
with, 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 with change. Men who can create change. Are you there? Men who believe in positive change. That's the phenom phen phen phenomenon. That's what Trench Boy, Trench Town Boy is telling us. He said, if he decide to go to Nyabuhanzi, in fact, he has got all men of walks of life, people who are mobile, people who are well-traveled, well-educated, whom if he can just tell them they want something now, even $50,000 now, he gets it. So these are the chances that Nyabuhanzi are missing. Because he had a plan of elevating and social uplifting the people of Nyabuhanzi. But majority of people who are against all these things, you find them they're outsiders. And it's a worrisome that the JT, who is also an insider, don't want the positive change of their village, of their backyard. In fact, this one speak negatively voluminous about the Nyabuhanzi people going forward. Sometimes you need to worry. You need to worry. And at the end, he say that you will not judge him. You will not shed on him. You will not convince him. You will not manipulate him to break his relationship with Mara. In fact, he said his family and Amara family are good friends forever. And they're having more that they want to do to the village. That no any iota of fear or any iota of juju or generic gun of witchcraft can really curtail all kind of that. Because the lazy gang has attacked him on the channel, telling him he shouldn't be associating with the IMRO. So these are the things that <laughs> these are the things that the lazy gang doesn't want. On the other side they're saying, oh, I saw the other one in the comment telling Trench Boy Town, oh, you appear to be a very good person with a good intention, but the problem, you are a puppet of Marwa. The question you ask, what has Amara done? What has Amara done? Another lazy gang also came also with a positive comment. I saw it. I've forgotten the name. He said, all along, he was at shock why things remain the same, why Amara was being attacked by his own people. Things that really made him join the lazy gang and started supporting the lazy gang. But when he watches and watched how Trench Boy was treated in Yabohanze, then he knew the lazy gang and the negative reactors are a menace and the problems. So he decided to leave. He decided to leave the lazy gang and decided to join Ayamarwa. Well, I, that guy, that comment is still there. If you go and check, you'll find that comment. Now, that kind of a statement hungered the lazy gang. And that's why you find the likes of JT came with, an, with other kind of irrational kind of vexation, so stale that are not making sense. Sometimes you look at him, then you say, did this guy really see even the door of a classroom? What a kind of a dumb reasoning, so dense indeed. So extorted Tristan Boy, 3,000 shillings for three revision assignment books. One book is 200 shillings. <laughs> hey. uh. mm. <laughs> okay. Um, in that clip that I played, Mr. Cecil is trying to launch some, some allegations, some complaint. Let me say some counterattack. Because maybe uh, Pasi launched some attack or maybe some complaint or something. And now him is trying to reverse maybe play reverse psychology or something that he think he's doing because maybe he want to make that Percy allegation go away so he's redirecting the anger or maybe the word to uh, to bring the idea of sponsoring the children and how he wasn't appreciated enough to make him look a good man and he was kind of disrespected so he talks about uh, principle was giving all the reports, the school reports, to Percy. For God's sake, Percy is the, 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 the what? The parent. How will the school principal send the reports to, or maybe give the reports to 
Mr. Cecilia is not the parent. He's a, a, he's a sponsor. So your sponsor is about to... Sponsoring is about paying school fee. All right, you can still go there, follow up, know how they're performing at school. But the reports, the reports card, or maybe the performance reports, are supposed to be given to the parent. That's, that's I mean, <laughs> that's common sense. Or maybe practical. But why would he demand reports for children that are not him, his? And he talked about how these children were so far behind, like far behind. I thought he was keeping in touch to know the progress of the children because that is what he was saying. So is this the same day that he realized that these children are so far behind? What made him realize that the last time? And these children had stolen, <laughs> had stolen, did, he, did I get that wrong? That they had stolen some books or whatever, material, and he had to pay for that. I don't know where this, all this conversation is coming from, and we never heard about it until Pasi came out to say that this man demands her toto in order to continue to support her. Like the man wanted to just make some quick way, some smooth way into her toto in order for him to keep on supporting her. And because she said no, now we're hearing a bunch of Tom and Jerry stories that we never know. So at this moment, who should we trust? At this point, I'm beginning to think that Percy is genuine because this man, how he's trying to respond, how he's trying to cover up everything, he's bastard. And the fact that he's teaming back with Maro and you've trying seen, to bring back down everyone you've that You've seen ever, the reasoning ever. of Nyabohanze. This is one of the stooges of Nyabohanze. And that's how they reason. His village is being destroyed. Plus his tribe mate. But it's there cheering them. Destroy, destroy. You see them? And that one tells you the difference. Remember at one time when I was talking about these things, I told you, if you're coming from Nyabo and they are from the Korean tribe, I'm not being troubled. The best thing is make sure when you're taking your kid to school, do not let them study in that area. Take them to other countries so that they get mixed up with other children. I think their level of reasoning could be elevated because the schools within Nyabohanze itself are tribal instituted. That kind of mindset within the village is really instituted because the same teachers are coming from there. Therefore, nobody will learn any other thing new. That will be the reasoning. That's why you'll find somebody who has gone to school and it's from there, the likes of JT is here. And the level of reasoning itself is unwanting. We cannot decipher a simple thing. We saw the other time when he was talking about the Googles that Mr. Cecil was wearing. Oh, somebody has punched. I told him, and the majority of people also like, was siding with him, something that I was even wondering. Well, I knew such glasses are there, but the one that Mr. Cecil had was not such a glass. That glass was for a medical glass to protect Cecil's eye from the sun's rays. He can even wear it at night. Because Cecil had a cataract and high eye surgery before he comes to Africa. So that glass was preventing his eye. So that, that very early in the morning when he removed the glasses, then you could hear, you could see the eye surgery that was done and the effect. That is the has is swollen. But they went with the story, oh, oh, eh, eh, making a story, Google, Googling it to bring it to YouTube Street so that it can sound so fancy. What did I tell you people? This is the high surgery glass. Those glasses are there, I know. And Mr. Sassel can afford them, very many of it. But the one that he was putting on was not such a glass. So this, is, this is also the problem of us sometimes. Huh? These are sometimes of clickbait. Sometimes we are being clickbait, or the, the, the lazy gang are playing tactics and putting a decoy for us to support them. Well, you see, everything I'm going to do, whether it's good, it's bad, they will never agree with everything. But as small little things, we are going under supporting them. And that is also a very big problem that us, we have. Secondly, Mr. Cecil is a sponsor. And all the sponsorship that has already been done, number one thing is like, when you're given performance 
report. It must be sent to the sponsor direct. I know of people who have lost sponsorship. The other people who are with campus. They lost sponsorship just because they, they, they were never filing reports to the sponsors. Because number one is the sponsors. They must know the progress of the school. The parent will be given a photocopy of it, a copy of it if he goes and gets into the school. But also it's the duty of a parent also to make sure he furnishes all the performance report of all the children to the sponsor, for those who are sponsoring the children. Then how would you want the sponsor to sponsor the children when you don't want to share in the report? Mr. Sassel also has got right to monitor and assess the progress. If you say that the children were much behind, in fact the children were much behind, when they were removed or transferred from the public school to the private school, they were subjected to the interviews and the tests and exams and they failed completely, which necessitated them to be taken back two step or one step class behind so that they could catch up. They were very much behind and in fact they improved. If you want to gag Mr. Cecil Lever to talk, Mr. Cecil is talking on this channel, not anybody's channel. The same thing, the issues you, you guys are attacking him through Parsi. You are talking all these things on camera. So when Cecil comes and does these things on camera, you see a problem. You see a problem. And the greatest things, the reason why I'm telling you that the, the church boy of Mr. Cecil <laughs> statement angers them. When he said his family and the families of Amar are friends, whether you vex, whether you react, whether you judge, whether you convince him uh, what God knows how, is there with Ayamaro and they're planning good things. Now it's the same same thing that JT is questioning. Now the issue is why must he bring Maro in the picture? And the question that people are asking outside there, why are these people so negative Ayamara? Why do they want Ayamara's visitors? Arundante came, they chased Arundante. They never wanted Ayamara with Arundante. All other visitors came, Trench Boy came down, they don't want. Jamaican uncle came, they don't want. What do you want? And if you ask them, what is the problem that Ayamara have done? They will never tell you. They will tell you it's calm. Tell them to prove the scam. They won't say it. So this is the problem that these people sometimes they are telling us and putting it forth on this street but when asked they want to apportion blame left and right or other, other people will call you name. Others will dissent to your manhood. And that's a fact. Now you see <laughs> how OJT is reasoning. So you, you wanted the trench town boy to keep quiet, never to speak. There was nothing that is coming to defend himself. There's nothing that is coming to say other things so that he looks good. The trench boy town, Mr. Sassel, is ever a good person. And he has exhibited the worth of philanthropic program, of being philanthropic, not only in Yaboanze, but to the rest of other African countries. But you people, you went on on a campaign mode, coach Kasi, and told Pasi what to say to paint him so black and so bad. Pasi was acting in your bad faith. Because I could see the legs of Turbo and Vanilli who were coaching Pasi on online. The issue of land grab, the issue of molestation that were not making sense. We saw it and it was being done on a live. You remember when Pasi went live and all of you were there, started asking Pasi, who grabbed your land? Pasi told you, nobody grabbed my land. My land is safe. After the constant vexations and you call Pasi, Pasi later came and changed the, changed the tune that the land was grabbed because you under your instruction and you coached. And you coached. JT never stopped from there. He came in and questions. 
because there was a, 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 a woman from Jamaica as well who is a friend to Mr. Cecil who was sponsoring Emmanuel because Cecil was sponsoring one child. He has got the friends that are sponsoring the other child, ch children because these are the friends. He told you he has got friends of phenomenal. And they were sponsoring. So all these two came out and said they are cutting off the support. And he posted JT questions that these things are just scripted. Because everything Amara said, every friends of Amara doing good things you don't want, you always dismantle. Perhaps I think it's time to dissect all that message that was posted with that so kind of a this woman. Is the message. Then I will let you know what And this message also was one. pinned by Trench Boy Town. Mr. Sassel pinned it. So the person who posted it is uh, at Mrs. Juliet Oganro. <laughs> he said, I am Emmanuel's sponsor, Percy's oldest, oldest son. I never thought I would speak out, but after seeing how they treated Mr. Cecil, I feel it is time to share my truth. Emmanuel, I am sorry things turned out this way. If circumstances had been different, this couldn't have been this couldn't have been an incredible opportunity for the children. However, I'm not good at handling negativity, dishonesty, and manipulation itself. We Jamaicans are generous people, but please don't try to take us for fools. The moment we sense any form of manipulation, we are done. He's just telling you how Jamaican people are. They are decent people who like truthfulness. They don't thrive in negativity. If you find maybe those are thriving in negativity, maybe one of two or three of them, but the majority of them are positive people, like supporting people. He's saying. So as you know, Pasi's children, all of them were being sponsored. Mr. Cecil was sponsoring one. The friend of Mr. Cecil, who found Mr. Cecil, like this one, was sponsoring Emmanuel. Then there was another one who was sponsoring the second one. Are you there? All these people have withdrawn the help going forward. And these are the things that now JT was questioning. Who is this woman? He hasn't seen. My friend, JT, if you don't know most of these things, you better keep quiet. Because it seems maybe you started, so you started watching Amara just recently. And the lazy gang questioned. That this, you, this these things were scripted. Oh, uh, why are you posting now? My friend, they have to post now because these are the friends that were contacted by Mr. Sassil himself to come and help the people of Nyabwanzi. But how Mr. Sassil was treated, even themselves. And it was also a daylight, broad daylight, that Pasi said he doesn't need the help. Why must you cry now that Pasi should be helped? Pasi can get help from a source that he said, but he said Mr. Sassil and his friend should stop helping him. So the, the, the receiving end has refused the help. So you want Mr. Sassil to self-impose in helping Pasi? No, nobody is a dumb. Nobody is a dumb. Cecil can just decide to help whoever he wants, but not to be manipulated, not to be shenanigans, not to be jujud, to help people that are so ungrateful. Pasi is so ungrateful. Jeti was also saying that he has never seen Pasi begging. That Cecil and the philanthropic friend and Amaro self-imposed. So let me give you the background. <laughs> if you don't know. Pasi had been working at Amaro construction site. He was offered an opportunity. In fact, the first capital was given by Amaro for him to start a business there so that he could elevate him. The problem happened that the children were being sent for school fees, for not school fee, for, 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 for exams, and he couldn't afford. So the first time he came, he found the mom was not around. Amara gave him the money to go and pay. She, he went and paid. Second time he came again on the site, upon Amara seeing him, Amara asked him, Why are you not in school? The other time I gave you money, did you give the money? Marwa asked Percy, he gave you the money, oh, we paid in school. Then what brings you here again? They, what brought him here there again? It was now he was chased for another money and activity fee that school needed. So Amarwa had to give him the money on camera. And these people see it. This is where Mr. Cecil saw it. And the status of the uniform. 
That's how Mr. Sassi decided to come in and help. And the friend. Are you there? So what was happened? The boy come to get the money. The mom was still there. Amara gave the money. Second time, the boy come to get the money. The mother never had money by that time. Which means Amara decided to help. Whether they never <laughs> said it, but the situation, it's themselves, were dire. Their situations and their look by that time was requesting for help, which is not a bad thing. It's not a must that somebody requests for help. You can just assess and see. And the people who begin to is helping across Nyabuhanze, they're less unfortunate, asking for help. They're not asking for help. But begin to self-imposing and self even up to their bedrooms, filming and providing help for them. What are you saying? In fact, you are not good for here, for this YouTube street. You better go for, 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 for your scamming activity in your Forex. I think you, are, you, better, you better at that. These are the faces that are giving bad reputations to Kenyans. Reasonings that are not making sense. So hogwash. So hogwash. My Jamaican brothers and sisters, I know you might feel perturbed at this juncture. But I know you can separate the chaff and the good grains. And you all know. And you have got all the wisdom that, has, that are well resident in you. That you can read what is good and what is bad. Please. The, <laughs> the representations of Kenya is not what you saw in Yawanze. Kenyans are very hospitable people, good people, has got well nurtured people, reasonable people. Not all those students that you see in the village. The only thing that I can advise you is like, <coughs> if there is a, a place and where we go wrong, and the boys in the village have decided never to even ask for any forgiveness. Therefore, I take this latitude and opportunity to ask for forgiveness. Asking for forgiveness is just as a simple thing. We mean, we mean it. Because it is not right how Cecil was treated. Cecil mean, mean good. He meant no harm. He never came to abuse anybody, but he was treated so. Because other people manufactured a propaganda elsewhere and wanted to trade up with that propaganda. Surely, we can do better. Let me hear your thoughts at the comment section. Until next time, this is Senior Zach.